Играет Илья Коновалов. My name is Ilya Konovalov. I'm the concertmaster of the Israel Philharmonic since 1997. I grew up in Novosibirsk, former USSR, now Russia, which is really famous for its violin schools. I started to play violin when I was seven, before I played piano. My grandfather is very famous opera conductor in Russia. My mother is a pianist. Why the violin? It was kind of funny coincidence. Like, if you remember, in early 80s, all the Soviet leaders were dying one after another. So always the sign that someone has died, it was always a violin music on the Soviet TV. So when I was practicing piano, I always thought, wow, the violin can cry. So that's why I choose the violin. After finishing secondary school, I met uh, Dora Schwarzbeck, uh, excellent violinist, and she invites me to study with her in Vienna. Going to Vienna was really difficult for me, psychologically mostly, not because living alone. Vienna is not the most friendly city, like since Mali times, we know it. So it was difficult, but very important for me as a musical education, not only my teacher, my professor Doris Farsbeck, but all the surrounding, going to opera, going to Vienna Philharmonic, study chamber music with the members of the Vienna Philharmonic, tremendously important. I went to the concert with Israel Philharmonic. I was really impressed. And the next day when I went to the lesson of my professor, she said, they're actually looking for a concert master. Would you be interested? I think you would go there. You, you would fit there. I was like really surprised. The rest is the history. As long as I'm serving as a concert master, first when you arrive, you make a probation here, you think about solos, about preparing music, about things like stuff. But as long as you go deeper in the job, you understand actually the meaning of it and actually it's not about the solos, it's not about making sectional rehearsal. It's like trying to help, help a conductor to establish a relation with the orchestra. That's the main thing. We should make the conductor feel well with the orchestra. It's actually only the one person who sits next to him and try to create a good atmosphere around. I teach grown-ups and if you teach a good student with good potential, it's one of the greatest pleasure to work. I am very happy to have three of my ex-students in the orchestra, like Dima Pochitari, Nitsan Kanetti, and Maria Rosenblatt. I'm very proud of them. I have a hobby, not hobby, I'm trying to be a conductor. Actually, it's in my blood because my grandfather was a very famous conductor. So it was always kind of in my brain, I have to be a conductor. I kind of delayed it because I thought it's too early, it's too early, it's too early. Once I was coaching an orchestra in Georgia and they just told me you have to conduct. I conducted the, the concert, like Beethoven's Second Symphony, and then I decided I have to study properly the technique, the whole thing, not to be like many soloists try to conduct. So it's, I love it very much. It's something fresh in my life. When I lived the orchestra in 25 years, well, I would like to be remembered both as a concert master and as a conductor. So I don't want to be choose one of them, both of them. Thank you.